Breaking news tonight after more storms rolled through our area. News Channel 5's John Kosick is live in Cleveland. John, another historic church struck by lightning? Yeah, Alicia, for the second time in about two months, an historic Cleveland church apparently struck by lightning. Witnesses say the bolt hit the roof line of the Lane Metropolitan uh, CME Church on East 46 and Cedar. Fortunately, in this case, there was no fire. Hard break to see this. It hurts. James Newton can hardly believe the damage caused when witnesses say lightning struck the roof of the Lane Metropolitan CME Church, sending chunks of brick, mortar, and sandstone to the ground. Whatever it took, it took a terrible lick to hit it to do the damage it did to the south side of it. The damage comes just two months after lightning started a fire that destroyed the historic Euclid Avenue Congregational Church. The first thing I thought was it on fire. But I'm hope glad that it's not on fire and all. The line of storms that did the damage was evident just before 7 over Edgewater Park as Memorial Day pickers kept one eye on the table and the other eye on the darkening skies. How much longer do you think you have? Maybe 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> if that. Within five minutes, the wind let folks know the rain was not far behind. As quickly cut their losses and called it a day as the rain and lightning hit, it was one of those bolts that suspected of hitting the Lane Metropolitan Church, a stately old building which is on the list of Cleveland historical landmarks. Built in 1900, the church already takes a lot to maintain for the century-old congregation. Now this. Probably just like just about any other church around. We're struggling and keeping the faith and working hard to keep things going. <laughs> The church was designed by famed architect George Hammond, who also designed, among other buildings in northeast Ohio, the Stark County Courthouse. Fortunately, a preliminary check of the damage shows most of it is contained to the outside of the building. They'll know more in the morning. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5.